Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner. Manny comes in here with 60 victories. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. God bless you both. Touch up. All right, so here we go. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBA Weltweight Championship of the World. Has more to do than Broner's power. So far, Broner hasn't been able to touch him. Watch your hands, watch your hands. In that heat, Manny kind of collapsed after that. Not collapsed, uh, but just. Anyway. But it's very comfortable always inside because that's what happens when you have an orthodox fighter like Broner. <laughs> His answer to Kevin is, but he's trying to counter punch him. Well, so Manny, Manny's learning just which way to bob, weave, and feint, both inside and outside the ring. You see him stepping on top of Manny's foot. And he's got the wide stance when they loosen up the uh, back foot into a punch, but Manny's hands are so fast that he counters it. It's, it's going to be hard for the judges to score with a Feldman from Connecticut. I always hear those names. You get a lot more power behind it. Look at that, the counter punch of attack. Yeah. Let him go. Let's do it. Thank you. And then in Keep this exchange, the front Keep feet get tied up. Two in the bank. Boxing, beauty. That thing we playing for. Adrian Broner, Broner to the left of the screen with a fancy crunch. And Broner's hands are plenty quick too. Just boxing like this all night. And he's not landing real powerful shots. He's landing real shots today. A great uppercut that they landed there when he dropped uh, Lucas Matisse. I mean, he's so quick pulling out and slipping punches. Again, Broner's got a good uppercut, by the way. He throws the shoulders, he throws the chest, and hopes to wear down. It gets his right hand out there, the wrong jab. But it's still in the interest of the crowd. So this is the best combination of punches that Adrian's landed in the fight. Trying to hold him off with that stick. Manny attacks downstairs this, with his hands. Catches him. Not a lot of damage done to Adrian. Adrian missed with that right hand. It's just a little bit, which usually means he's going to go on the assault. He can't throw the right hand with any power. And he shouldn't turn his back on it. And he's rolling the head around, moving it back and forth. This is real good stuff. He makes it half a day. Slides back. Rona caught him with a decent shot that time. Another real good instruction. Now, see if he can execute He landed the straight right hand. Seven. For Brona, 39 for Manny. I gave Brona the last round. That was so quick. Stop! Let go. Juice up Manny a little bit. Manny, Manny, Manny. Defensively in this round, but he's got to get more offense together. There it is. A good straight right hand by Russ Moore. These guys are so well conditioned there. Both of them. And he was able to land that left hand upstairs. Didn't do Manny with the right hand. Manny's got the hands up. He jabs out a couple of times. Broner in the flash here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Manny Pacquiao. Action for a while. He's coming back, but Manny is the reigning WBA welterweight UFC title. So this is a very good division. Manny cooked him pretty good with that shot. This guy and just catching him with more shots than than uh, Adrian's catching him with. Now he's back up on his toes, and so he lets the right hand go. That's the right thing to do. Broner clipped the hands. He hasn't landed a lot of punches in this round with 53 seconds to go. Flip by Adrian. Adrian takes a shot down the stairs, no damage done. So far, there haven't been that many close rounds except the last one. And this round's fairly close, too. I mean, Jensen, guys, relax tayo, tatimingin lang. Pag may bagkakataon, papasok, papasok tayo. Why there was so much controversy in the horn fight? 
Well, I thought there was no question Horn won, but by a couple of points. Looping left hand stroke by Manny Pacquiao. He's on the assault now. He's chasing Broner down. Adrian Broner is a guy that people love to hate. Kind of like Floyd Mayweather at some times. And this is tough stuff in this round. I mean, that's what Kevin Cunningham wants him to do. But look at Manny. Tammy caught him. He's a hard punch. There's a couple of them. A couple of those punches must have landed on him. I thought he might be ready to go. Sometimes he has to slow down as he gets older in the next round. Let's see what he does in this round. Let's see if he can keep it in that uh, last round. That uh, he's, you know, there's, there's a nice, what I call sneaky right hand that time. Below. But man, he just seems to be landing so many more punches. It's the right hand. He's got to get through. That's the one he's got to get through. But man, he's so quick where he turns in that right shoulder. He circles back to his left this time, and that way he set up his right hand, but he didn't land. And his boxing is dominated boxing in the round. I mean, in the fight. And other than that, the rounds have been a little bit closer with Manny just eking him out with accumulation of punches. No real damage done, but you get the idea. And this is how you steal rounds in the judges' scorecards. Right. He's lethal in the ring, but at least the sweetheart of a guy outside. Him. Broner just got to throw more right hands. More right hands. You got to throw more hands. To watch Broner. And he goes back on his heels. Gets clipped right there in the corner. Broner may be hurt just a bit. Manny on the assault. This makes it a. a Pacquiao would love to stop him, but he's not throwing it. He's got to throw it. Enough fainting. Even though I know he's in great physical condition, his legs don't look really good. He looks a little bit loose in the knee. So quick. Manny on the assault. You got a problem with your right hand. I mean, he throws that right hand and turns the knuckles over like no power with it. A minute to go in this, the 10th round. There's the right hand. He finds right now, I get Manny creeping your head comfortably in this fight. There you go with the right hand, but Adrian, let the right hand go. And if I sound like I'm delaying it, that's because I want to see Brona do something with it. Yeah, get out, get out, hello. Yeah, what's up, Piesa? There's Manny. And he slowed down just a hair now on this round. Offensive because you're running out of time. And according to my score sheet, Broner's got to knock him out to win the fight. Well, man, he's got to stay focused and concentrated. So, you know, this is a terrific performance for a 40-year-old guy to get in line. But he's not throwing as many punches as he was. Broner's not landing much either. Hot shot him. Not enough offense by Adrian Broner. Man, he's always been a pressure boxer throughout his career. The show tonight, he's keeping the pressure. He's working hard, let me tell you. He makes it Broner miss, and here comes the bell to end this the 11th round. Come back. And Dean go. Hurt. 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 Do just continue doing what he's doing and box, stay away, pick his shots. Good job, gentlemen. Even if he Clean round. The round probably... Manny with a soft touch downstairs. And Kevin's right. Manny's there to land that right hand. Manny clips him with the right hand again. Russell Moore and total punches in the fight. And it goes to back to what I've been saying is a solid right hand lands. That'll tell you that everything I've been telling you is true. He's not landing his shots. I only think of three, maybe four really solid punches in the fight. And he's landed many, many more. It's been an interesting boxing match, but the 40 year old, eight time world champion in eight divisions. Trying to attack and land one last thing, and that's it. It's all over. I get it 119 to 110 in favor of Manny Pacquiao. I beat him. I beat him.
Uh, here's Jimmy Lennon. We have a unanimous decision. And still, WBA welterweight champion of the world, Matt 